In today's video, I'm going to talk about 7 time wasters that can eat up a lot of your time as an artist. So if you want to take yourself to the next level and save yourself a huge amount of time, then watch this video till the end because I learned these things unfortunately the hard way. The first thing is ignoring fundamentals. Learning fundamentals is one of the key elements that is going to save you a huge amount of time, especially in the long term. This is one of the most important points I want to talk about, if not the most important. Fundamentals include learning perspective, value, form, lighting, composition, anatomy, in addition to other stuff. This is extremely important because when you know this, you'll be able to work on your projects properly in a short period of time with higher quality. This way, you'll be able to master creating characters, environments, and different 3D assets, including weapons, vehicles, and everything in between. The trick is not wasting your time fixing it and trying to make it look right because if you spend the time early on on learning the fundamentals, you're not going to spend hundreds of hours revising your projects. If you do your homework on the fundamentals early on, you will be able to avoid mistakes and traps in your workflow and your work is going to be phenomenal. You're going to get more clients and you are not going to need endless hours trying to figure out what went wrong. Another time waster for artists is creating everything from scratch, but if you can avoid this, it is gonna be a huge time saver. Let's contemplate this for a moment. If you spend a number of years doing this type of work, then you are supposed to be comfortable with the workflow, which includes modeling, texturing, lighting, in addition to animation and other stuff. This means you don't need to create everything from scratch, especially when you work on a new project because you can use the assets that you worked on previously. Assets such as environment assets, characters, rigs, and even animations. You can use all of that in your next project. And some artists, especially those who work on hard surface models for example, create their projects using kitbash assets or environment assets. This is the case because they have worked on this previously and they don't want to repeat the same process just to save time. So they work using kitbash assets for example. Also as an example, to work on hard surface characters such as transformers, artists had to use a lot of kitbash assets instead of creating every little piece for each Autobot or each Decepticon. Also in animation, you can create your own rigs and you can use the same rig multiple times on multiple characters, which also allows you to save time and effort. And even in professional settings they do this for the same reasons. Some people take it to the next level by creating their own scripts and small tools to automate some really tedious processes. So my advice is, if you want to save time, don't feel pressured or morally obligated to create everything from scratch. Be smart about it and don't do the hard work every time. The next time waster is not using add-ons or plugins. For some weird reason, some people think that using add-ons or plugins is considered cheating and immoral. For that, I would say, if this is the case when using third-party tools, the counter-argument is, why don't you create your own 3D software in the first place? Because you are using software to create your own art in the first place. So the logic says, if you want to create something interesting, you want to use tools that allow you to create amazing stuff. So for me, it only makes sense. If you save a few hours a day using a tool that someone spent hundreds of hours or maybe years developing, then it is an amazing idea to save time. These developers do this to help you make things easier for you and propel you in the right direction, allowing you to finish your projects under the deadlines. This also allows you to be happier and healthier and allow you to spend more hours with your family and enjoy doing personal things such as working on personal projects and hobbies. The next time waster is not using references. For some reason, a lot of artists don't use references. Professionals use references all the time, especially when creating complex stuff, because it is just what the job requires. They understand that in order to save time, they need to gather the right amount of references, and sometimes they spend days gathering references to make it easier for them to work on the project. This includes working on characters, environments, and animations, which also needs references by the way. Animation references are necessary to see how things are moving. You can do this by looking at simple walk, run, and swim cycles, and so on. I don't know if this practice is still a thing nowadays, but in the old days, they were looking at mirrors to see and capture their facial expressions as references to create animations. 
Additionally, you can look at anatomy references to work on characters. You can look at machinery as a reference to create mechanical robots and mechanical environments. Furthermore, you can look at animals as references to create fantastic beasts or something like that. It is basically simple, and it serves as an inspiration to free your imagination, boost your thinking, and unlock your creative mind. So you don't waste a lot of time trying to figure out how things should look. Another time waster is not using a technique called blackout. The art of blackout is a process of creating generic geometry and shapes to outline what you'll be creating to be able to confine it in a certain boundary and then sculpt it to whatever you want. For example, if you want to create an environment, you don't start focusing on the details right away from the start. You just use simple shapes and geometries such as boxes, cubes and cylinders to figure out the size of the asset and the scale of the whole place, in addition to the position of each little asset in the environment. This way you're gonna get a general idea of how it is gonna look like when it is done. This should allow you to spend time focusing on the details later on, instead of keeping all these issues in the forefront of your mind when you create the small details. Artists also do this, for example, if they want to create a character, I mean drawing it using a pencil. You don't start drawing the character the moment you touch the pencil. You draw for circles, rectangles, or simple shapes to define the boundaries of the character, and then you start adding details little by little. This is a good technique that is gonna save you a lot of time because it is easy to do and very efficient, especially when working on big and complicated projects. The next one is probably my favorite, which is lack of planning and organization. If you want to save yourself a lot of time, I recommend avoiding this. Because successful artists know exactly what they want to do. They have a plan and they know how to execute their plans. They work in an organized manner because they know that their time is valuable and anything that is not planned and organized is gonna be a huge time waster. Part of being organized is having folders, assets and layers properly named in a coherent manner so you can find stuff easily and very efficiently. This in addition to having the right tools and the right resources in addition to the right routine. These are basically all part of being organized in addition to being a solid thing that is gonna save you hours every day if you do it the right way. So before you start any project, you need to have a plan in mind. You need to see it in action before you even start. And when you start, you need to follow a certain workflow. This is gonna allow you to keep yourself organized using the same tools and the same techniques that you learned. Allowing you to automate things and delegate the processes, especially the repetitive processes to your subconscious mind, which are basically the habits that you have acquired over the years. And this leads us to the next point. A big part of saving time is having a routine in day-to-day -day operations because it is basically a series of habits that you're gonna follow from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep. This, as I said before, is gonna allow you to delegate the heavy lifting to your subconscious mind which facilitates the process of managing these habits instead of you thinking about it every waking moment consciously. Your only job is then focusing on creating great results and amazing artwork. These habits, as a result, are gonna allow you to do things very efficiently as you work on your projects. Most importantly, this gives you a reason not to be distracted by things such as TV, social media, people, events, news, and so on. If you focus on your routine, you're gonna be able to stay on point and never think about things that are outside of your area of focus. And this way, you're gonna be productive all the time. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also let us know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.